More now from Fran Boy, the uh, director of Positive Money. Many thanks for joining me here on the programme, Fran. So the stepping down of Vernon Hill two months early, do you think reputationally speaking, is this a good or a bad thing for Metro Bank? Well, they haven't had a good year, have they? I mean, their shares have fallen by 90%. And as you said, there were high hopes for Metro Bank coming on the scene in 2010 after the crash. It was seen as a, a challenger bank to a kind of a monopoly of, of two big-to-fail banks. But it, it was trying to basically copy a system which we know, you know doesn't work anymore. It, it was trying to do both kind of maximise short-term um, profit for shareholders as well, in, well as giving out quite big salaries and payouts to the top but also it was kind of saying we're going to do things differently we're going to have a big branch network we're going to do SME lending uh, and we're going to try and do things differently but unfortunately with that um, shareholder model it's just shown this year that actually um, it hasn't worked out for Metro Bank um, and it was still you know trying to make those big profits by funneling a lot of bank bet lending into property into financial markets and obviously it misclassified almost a billion uh, sorry, almost a million, oh, no, almost a billion uh, loans uh, and that was uh, the kind of start of a, of a bad year and kind of showing the flaws um, in this model of banking. Yeah, absolutely right, almost a billion uh, uh, pounds. Um, as we say, it, it's been a dreadful year for the bank. Uh, Vernon Hill used to regularly refer to customers as fans. It does still have great plans. It, it wants to expand its presence in the north of England. It wants to move into Man uh, cities like Manchester, Liverpool and Birmingham. Where does the bank sit now currently? Is it still delivering for its customers? Well, we saw earlier, I think, customers withdrew around two billion of deposits. So clearly, reputation has been damaged. And I think, you know, Metro Bank's got a, got a kind of choice on, it hand, on its hands. What does it want to do? Does it want to kind of double down on this kind of broken model of banking, um, you know, where you see kind of risky loans going out to property financial markets? Or does it want to actually think we need a different kind of model, uh, one that doesn't just withdraw bank branches from communities and one that does put its its kind of customers um, financial services and the fact that they want safe and secure deposits you know we saw from other big banks big too big to fail banks like RBS um, once they kind of expose that they have a broken model of banking trust goes there's a clearly a toxic environment and we hear these big figures I think the CEO CEO Craig Donaldson was given a 2.5 million bonus a couple of years ago the chairman's stepping down there's there's speculation that he might keep his 10,000 pound monthly expenses um, allowance and you know actually banking is meant to be a, a utility if it's actually going to serve con customers keep their money safe uh, lend to SMEs have branches in the community it can't have both these you know oversized um, payouts to the top uh, a kind of uh, cronyism and, and a toxic environment that we've seen creep into Metro Bank as well as delivering and so you know I think obviously we'll see who comes in next we'll see some of the announcements they make but positive money very skeptical because we see a banking system that's inherently broken and we see that we need to bring in very different types of banking and unfortunately Metro Bank was basically seeking to replicate to quite a large extent how Barclays HSB etc do banking. Okay, Fran, we're going to have to leave it there, but good to hear your thoughts. Fran Brott there, Executive Director at Positive Money.